dear welcome to my youtube channel so welcome to first of all the whole series of power bi learning with end to end project so in this particular series we had a discussion regarding the power bi installation to loading a data to you know what are the data set you need to prefer as of now to work in a power bi projects and now we are working on a end to end restaurant data and we have built our first visual as well and throughout the series we had a discussion regarding the formatting of this visual as well in the past video i have given you the tasks to check out the all formatting options i hope you have checked out the same and if not let me give you a quick walk through regarding all the formatting options which is available in the power bi visuals okay so this is the visual which we have created which is sum of rating by name if you click on this particular visual make sure if you want to do a formatting on the visual you need to click on the visual and once you click on it we have this particular option which is format your visual okay so click on format your visual okay once you click on format your visual multiple options will be visible like we have title x axis y axis and so on whatever the formatting we did it will automatically come in here okay these are the formatting you have done which is the data labels and so on what are data labels at the top like we have this uh, you know kanthi restaurants kanthi sweets and 267 is a rating so 267 is the data labels and we have already enabled it okay now if you want to do more formatting then click on more options here it is and here we need to click on more options okay once you click on more options automatically see the format tab will be visible in here let me do one thing for you let me expand this format tab uh, just a minute here it is okay so i have expanded the whole format tab you see that there is a arrow in here if you want to expand it more you can do it from here directly now once you expand this format tab these are all the options which is available for formatting for an example like size and style here you can just uh, you know uh, mention or customize the height and width of this particular visual the padding and the background as well so i'll going to change the background too okay once we check out the background in here let me just change the background settings Yeah, it is okay. So as of now, the background is completely white of this visual. I want to change a background. So here is the option of background, and I'll gonna increase it to. I'll gonna change it to this. Okay, so I have changed the completely background of the visual. When it comes to transparency, you can check that out as well. And in effects, is we can give a multiple conditional formatting. We're gonna discuss about it later on. Then we have visual border. If you want to give the border to the visual, then click on this particular. We can say border and uh, increase the pixels of the border if you want to. Okay. I'll gonna. actually this particular screen is connected to my system so some of the things we need to do it from the system as well okay so i have given a particular formatting and uh, we can say border to the visuals too first of all if you want to give a border to the visual make sure that you enable it as of now the visual border is off enable it okay once you enable it you can increase the size of the pixel of the border too as you can see now if i click on the canvas as you can see the black border is there this is the border okay click on the visual again to do a formatting yes now we have the option of size and style then we have a option of i'll going to click on the visual again yeah title then we have option of doing a formatting on x axis y axis we are not using any legends as of now legend is like if you want to show more columns more data to the visual we're going to explore legends later on then we have grid lines and zoom and columns and data labels and so on okay and the properties we have options of header icon tooltip alt and so on these are the advanced formatting options but as of now i highly recommend you to explore all the formatting options which is available in the visuals tab okay so that's about the formatting now these are the simple formatting we have did as of now now i'll going to click on the cross icon i don't want to format tab and this is the first visual we have created now let's create more visuals in the power bi okay so we have multiple options in here and now i want to create a pie chart as soon as you click on a pie chart you you will see a demo of the pie chart in here and now we need to add on the data into it okay if you want to add on a data click on the icon at the top 
and here we have option of build a visual and here the click on legend we have two options main two options and here legend and values okay values always consist a numerical data legend always consist a string or characters so if i click on add data in here automatically all the options will be visible like you want to see the city cost cuisine locality and so on so i want to see okay that um what is the name of the restaurant and i'll see the cost as of now okay or i'll gonna see i can you know do a multiple uh, we can say categorization in here but we'll gonna go slowly and here is the name of the restaurant and i'll gonna you know go to values and check out the cost as well okay or we can also do one thing rather than name in the legends i don't want name so click on the cross icon and i want proper let's say uh, click on cross icon in here add data and i want cuisine okay so cuisine wise cost i want to see so these are all the cuisines we have in here and these are the cost as well as you can see 279k 200k 141k and so on the visual is as of now very messy it is not highly recommended to show this sort of visual in front of managers and that's why we're going to use some filters in it okay we're going to discuss about filters in our upcoming session but as of now what we can do is rather than cuisine we have just click on a cross button in here click on add data and here rather than cuisine i will check uh, let's say uh, the location so this is the location wise cost okay the location of the restaurant and the cost of the restaurant as well okay the visual is again very messy i'll recommend you not use location and i'll going to use let's say locality or city the city is also going to be you know messy but it's le less messy we can say because these are the delhi wise restaurants bangalore mumbai hydrated hyderabad we have kolkata pune chennai ahmedabad jaipur and so on okay so these are the number of restaurant and these are the cost of the restaurant as well as you can see but rather than this cost to make this visual more meaningful i'll going to use let's say these are the city and i want city wise rating or we can use city wise votes as well so let's use vote okay so these are the city wise votes as you can see okay now we have successfully created a pie chart this is a task for you you need to do a formatting on this particular pie chart as well okay how to do a formatting click on this visual click on this particular icon which is a formatting and here we can click on more options okay as far as the formatting is concerned you can just change all the things via size and style title legends just explore all the formatting options from here this is a very important thing which is in pie chart automatically the data labels is by default enabled in here but in this particular chart we need to enable the data labels but pie chart having a functionality automatically the data labels are enabled in here okay now what we can do in here is let's say the same exact formatting of this visual i need in this visual okay what i'll going to do is i'll going to simply um just a minute yes okay so if we talk about the same formatting in here from this column chart to the pie chart i'll go select this column chart once you select this column chart click on this format painter the brush button okay and then click on this particular pie chart automatically the same formatting will be copied and pasted that's the use of format painter it works exactly same like uh, you know word ppt and excel and so on okay so the same formatting i have copied and pasted so now guys our uh, we can say pie chart is successfully created and our column chart is successfully created as well so i'll going to use it here and i'll going to use it here beside this uh yeah we have stacked column chart if you want to see if you want to increase or decrease the size of this any chart see we have a arrow in here that means you can decrease the size click on the chart we have arrow and and just decrease the size of the chart i'll going to do it with the system and here you go 
okay now these are the two visuals created as you can see some of the filters are appearing in here why is it so because by default i clicked on this bangalore if i click on bangalore automatically everything is shown related to a bangalore category if i click on delhi or any other part of the visual that's that's how you can see power bi is a complete business intelligence tool and a interactive tool okay it's very important to learn the same and as you can see guys we have successfully created both the visuals and in next session i'll gonna create you know more uh, three to four visuals and show you how you can complete the entire restaurant data report i hope you like today's video and make sure you check out the description for all the important links see you in the next session of the series thank you